Okay, good morning. Um, I'm going to do a little demo again. I found a C star um, doing an image search. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a selection. So I'm using a tool in Photoshop and it's called Object Select Tool. If you click, oh, you can see the little video here. Hold on, I'll show you. Click and drag around an object, um, it will select that object if it can identify it, which it just did. Um, but I need to change, see how it didn't quite get everything over here? I'm going to go to select, select and mask. And you can see that it's missing. Um, see how it's a little bit pink in there? It's because, and this one shows up better. Um, so what I do is I go to my brush and I'm going to just remove that. Oops, went too far. That looks pretty good. But I'm going to do something called Smart Radius and I'm going to smooth this out. Uh, this over here looks a little funny. Well, I can fix that in Illustrator afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to fill this star with black. So um, it's Option Delete fills in your selection. Um, and then I'm going to copy that. Edit, Copy. And I'm going to leave Photoshop. I'll go ahead and save it. And now I'm in Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and quit Photoshop so that I only have Illustrator open. I'm trying to quit Photoshop. Oh, there we go. OK, now I'm going to do Edit Paste. Okay, there's the C star. Um, I'm going to back out a minute here, or a little bit in a minute. Um, I'm going to do something called an image trace. So up here, you can so trace that so that it becomes line art. So I'm going to go, let's try black and white logo and see what happens. That looks pretty good. Um, what I need to do is expand it. So uh, click on expand. And hopefully that worked. Yeah, it worked. I'm going to remove the white, so I'm just going to hit delete here. And now I have this one. I don't know what this is over here. Huh. See that little dot? Not sure what that is. OK, but I need to make this smaller. So I'm going to do, oops. I'm going to do object transform scale. I'm going to make it 60% of size and see how that goes. OK, I'm going to bring that up here. Um, I also need to make it white. So I'm going to make it white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Fs in a row is white. Um, still needs to be a little bit smaller, though, doesn't it? So let's make it smaller. Um, how about 90%? And we can even see. Hold on. That could work. Maybe I'll do 88%. All right. I can always make it smaller or larger if I want. So I wanted to live in this space. I'm going to get rid of. Oh, I didn't even have snap to guides on. Okay. Or grid. Um, okay. So I'm going to want to center it. Now, do I like it where it is? I can rotate it if I want it to look different. Maybe, maybe that rotation's more fun. Um, that's kind of nice because it has a sort of upward feeling to it. 
Okay, so let's just hypothetically say I like that. Um, now I could add stars. So let's go to our star tool and Let's add some stars in here. And I can copy and paste. And then I could hold the shift and option key and make some bigger and some smaller. That's pretty small. And since I have these three sizes, maybe I stick to these, just these three sizes, copy and paste those around. When they get small, you can, I'm using the arrows on the keyboard, because sometimes if I try to pick them up, pick them up, they uh, distort. The little ones are nice. Um, I'll scatter some little guys around. Okay, so I'm not done per se, but um, something like that could be a possibility. And you could keep playing with where these stars live. Okay, the other thing I was going to show you is you can, if you want, um, do some effects like a drop shadow. It may or may not work. That's too dark. 50% um, maybe and um, maybe not so far away. Oops. Um, let's do 0 0.01. Let's see what that looks. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Was anything happening? Yeah, it did. Yeah, because that's no shadow, and this is shadow. Let's try point. What if I do? Two. Can also play with all of these too. Let's see what happens. Doesn't seem to do anything. Let's just leave it normal. But you could play around with that if you wanted to. The shadow is kind of nice because it gives it a little more depth. Um, and you could get away with perhaps making Mount Desert Island, if we choose to do this, um, a gray. So 70% of black. So the Oceanarium shows up more than Mount Desert Island. Okay, so that's a possibility. Um, 